So clearly it is having great impacts uh, as far as poverty levels are in, you know, uh, concerned. But then there are also broader economy level questions uh, when it comes to a national rural employment guarantee because um, uh, the rural sector is very closely connected with the urban sector and the rest of the economy. And like most emerging markets, we have a huge rural to urban migration happening, uh, which has only escalated since 91. In fact, after the liberalization move, it had increased even further. And after the introduction of the National Rural Employment Guarantee, you actually see this falling down tremendously, very significantly. So rural to urban migration as a whole has fallen by close to 28%. Uh, and then when you do a breakup of why people migrate, uh, then you find that 58% reduction is of people who migrate for employment reasons, which is in sync with this employment guarantee scheme. And uh, close to 33% uh, reduction we see in marriage-related employment uh, uh, migration. Now, marriage always follows the employment migration because these are mostly women who are migrating, so that's in sync with the, this kind of a program. And uh, not surprisingly, migration for education is not affected at all. Now, why is it not surprising? Because the National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme really provides unskilled wage employment. So these people who are going out or migrating for education purposes are really not affected by this scheme.